The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. He himself had declared that there is no respect for a prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done in Jerusalem during the festival which they too had attended. He went again to Cana in Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum, and hearing that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and asked him to come and cure his son as he was at the point of death. Jesus said, So you will not believe unless you see signs and portents. Sir, answered the official, come down before my child dies. Go home, said Jesus, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and started on his way. And while he was still on the journey back, his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had begun to recover. The fever left him yesterday, they said, at the seventh hour. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, Your son will live. And he and all his household believed. This was the second sign given by Jesus on his return home from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in this episode, we see how the court official had approached Jesus and pleaded Jesus to cure his son, who was at the point of death. And Jesus assures him and says to him, Go home, your son will live. The official believed, even he did not see his son recovering, he believed in Jesus and started walking back. It is only on the way that when he met his servants who confirmed that the son has been cured, that, G, that, the, that the official, when asked for the time, realized that it was at the point when Jesus said, your son will live, that the son began to recover. It is clear for the official who had great faith that the power of Jesus to heal transcends distance and Jesus does not need to, to go to the boy to heal him. If we reflect on this episode, we begin to see certain beautiful elements that we can take on for ourselves as we reflect the meaning of our faith during the Lenten season. We hear of how when the official believed in faith, his faith not only brought faith to himself and the experience of God, but his faith spread to the rest of his household and everyone in the household was converted and believed in him. We also see how that when Jesus works his miracles, he works to proclaim the good news of salvation that in the healing, it is more than bringing back the life of an ill person. It is proclaiming that the belief in Jesus offers us eternal life. And that is the mission of Jesus. The glory of God through the miracles reminds us that there is eternal life, that there is truth of God in our hearts and in our daily living that we are all called to connect and be, um, be faithful to the faith in our daily living. Additionally, we see in this episode of the beauty of parental love. The father had great love for the son, a love that made him walk some 30 kilometers all the way from Kephanum to, to Kenna to meet Jesus. And when Jesus said, your son will live, he walks back 
another 30 kilometers in the hot sun, going home to, to this, try to look for the son whom he believed will be healed. Parental love is a symbol of God's love for us, who are when we are his children. If parental love can be so selfless and sacrificial, God's love is even more, infinitely more. We see how Jesus willingly accepted death even to, to, in order that we can be saved. And so let us remember what life is all about. We have many needs, we have many desires of our hearts. Some of us are ill, some of us are filled with anxiety of all kinds. This is part of human life. But the difference between a person of faith and without faith is immense. If we are blessed with the gift of faith, then our life must be built on faith. And whatever happens, we have to go and return to the source of our life, the purpose of our life, and the destination of our life, which is God himself. No amount of success, wealth, glory, and power in this world can give us the deep peace and fulfillment of life, regardless of what the secular world tells us and promotes through advertisements and films. We all need God. We need to return to the basics of our faith and discover that unless our life is built on God, unless our desires and dreams and needs are built on our faith in God, who can perform miracles and give us the needed strength and show us the needed mercy in times when we sin, that life has meaning, direction, and purpose. Without God, we are heading for destruction, self-destruction, and the destruction of the people we love unless we put God back into the center and make him the foundation, the purpose and meaning of our lives. And that's what Lent is all about, to prepare for the essence of our faith that is experienced during Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday, and bring this reality of our faith into our daily living. We have no purpose and will have no true hope of living a life of peace and fulfillment. And Jesus wants us to know that even as we love our family, it is God who is the foundation of that love.